Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now we're going to be using the Fusky as our example for the detailing process of your fursuit head base. The process of making this fursuit head are exactly the same with a few tweaks that make it more canine than feline. So for starters, what's going to be most different is the muzzle. The muzzle is definitely going to be longer and a bit thinner than what a feline muzzle would look like. Something that I like to do with my bases now is make sure I cut off the back side of the head to make it more ergonomical. This is something I do after the base is done so I can really gauge where I want that to be. This is going to help you later when you're patterning the neck and making it look more like a neck rather than just a piece of, you know, foam or a piece of fur that's just like draping off of you. This part of the process is where we're going to be gluing the balaclava to the base itself. So here you're just going to want to take small pieces at a time to glue the balaclava to the base. I usually like to start near the nose bridge and then make my way around the head toward the back. And again, I follow the symmetry rule, so let me do one side and then I do the other side. You don't have to pull too hard because the balaclava already stretches. Just make it look neat. So don't pull to where there's too much tension, but don't leave so much, you know, loose so, you know, the balaclava has those little wrinkles. Once you've glued the balaclava to the base, make sure you cut out the eyes and the mouth holes so you can actually insert the eyes when we get to that process. And you can just cut out the entire piece to the shape of the eye, but what I like to do is just cut little slits and then glue them to the base so you have a bit more stability of the balaclava to the base.
So something that was in my original fursuit making tutorial was the use of fleece or felt to fill in those little gap areas so you don't have to use large pieces of foam and do a lot of extra trimming. At this point, this is where you'll do the mouth lining. Mouth lining can be any variation of colors, it really just depends on your character. As default, I do like to use black fleece. So the way that I'm cutting this out, I leave more room and seam allowance toward the front part of the jaw and then the jaw that goes toward the inside of the mouth, I cut right up against the pattern. So once you have your eyes in, you are now finished with the entire base process, and we are now going to move on to the patterning. So remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the patterning video. Bye!